I will be adding glitter die cuts to step up my watercolor image and you will see right away the difference that makes. Stay tuned. <music> Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I'm sharing a watercolor card today and it turns out that uh, it follows the same color palette as last week's card. So I thought I would step this up in a different way. I will be using the Craft Your Life Project Kit Dynamic Blossoms and it has a stamp set, a gorgeous die set with quite a few dies, a coloring stencil and a 3D embossing folder. It is a beautiful kit and I will just be using the stamp and the die set from this kit. I will first prep my A2 watercolor cardstock with anti-static powder. Then I will stamp the image with embossing ink and cover with pure white embossing powder. Then heat set it. I will then apply water to the flower and use the colors from the watercolor 36 pan set to color the image. For the flower, I will use ruby light. I will add a light pigment on the base of the flower and then spread it out towards the tip. I will then add a more concentrated pigment and repeat. In this way, I will keep building layers till I am happy with the result. I will try my best to achieve a smooth satin finish. I'm not adding texture to the flowers as in no stippling because I will be adding a little bit of it to the leaves and also a little bit to the background. So I will have my flowers in a very smooth satin finished look. I will color all the flowers in the same manner making sure I leave some portions for the highlight. This will create quite a bit of dimension. Once I have colored all the flowers, I will work on the leaves. I will start in the same way, applying water first and then adding a layer of emerald watercolor. I thought this would look so nice with the color I added for the flowers, but I didn't realize that I was essentially using the same colors I used uh, in last week's video. I will add a concentrated pigment where I want to show depth and don't worry about going out the lines. Once you are done, you will be die cutting this. Once I have the emerald pigment on there, I will add desert night pigment to the base of the leaves and also where the flowers connect to the stems. Anywhere you want to add depth or show shadow, you will add this pigment. I will leave this to air dry while I will work on the card front. And for the card front, I have cut out this panel from the size of my card front from the 9 by 12 watercolor paper pad. I will apply water to the panel on the right hand side and a little bit on the top as well. Then I will start adding the emerald pigment that's already on the palette. I will be keeping the background lighter than the leafy bits of the image and then I will drop in desert night. I will keep working on this till I'm happy with the look and I will randomly add both the green and the blue and mix them in places only so that they are distinct in some places and not so much in others. Once I'm happy with the blue and green, I will drop in the ruby light pigment and make sure you don't overwork this otherwise it will mix. Just drop it in and spread it a little or maybe not at all if it's spreading on its own. When I like how it looks, I will use the heat tool to dry the panel. Then I will add splatters of desert night and emerald pigment onto the panel. I will then die cut the swirly die from the kit out of dazzling diamond glitter cardstock and place this behind the floral image which I die cut off camera. I will then adhere an instant dimension foam tape behind the floral die cut and adhere this to the card front in a way that it sticks the glitter die cuts along with it. After adhering it, if any glitter die cuts are loose, I will simply adhere those with liquid adhesive. 
To finish, I will stamp the sentiment in obsidian ink. I hope you liked the card. You can adhere the glitter die cuts with glue directly instead of doing it my way. First adhere the glitter, glitter die cuts and then adhere the floral die cut. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alter New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.